Дорогие друзья, Russia was still a country that was generally moving towards common European values. But then, in 2014, the annexation of Crimea happened, and since then, my country has been moving in a dramatically different direction. Today, five years later, we can see that the Russian people are tired of this anti-European path, and they are demanding a change in direction from the government. I'd like to tell you about the projects that my colleagues and I have been working on over this period about the projects that are helping my country return back to a European path of development. I would like to start by saying that I do not want to replace Putin with another president. Moreover, I definitely don't see myself taking up this role either. I strongly oppose the presidential model for Russia. I believe that Russia should be a parliamentary republic, led by a strong government. The main objective of my projects is to support social and civic initiatives in Russia. These initiatives should help to strengthen Russian civil society and develop a new generation of political leaders. My projects that concern the West have a completely different objective. Their goal is to help our Western colleagues understand that Russia and Putin are not the same thing that the interests of Russian society do not correspond with those of the group of individuals who have seized power in the Kremlin, and that the number of free and forward-thinking Russians is actually growing year on year. Please take a look at this short video. It will tell you about all the projects that we have been working on since my release from prison. In Putin's Russia, the state has done its best to isolate Russians from the outside world, keeping citizens trapped behind a wall of lies and aggression. But brick by brick, ordinary Russians are starting to see through this wall and are wanting to create a new Russia. The Open Russia movement is for them. The Open Russia movement. The Open Russia movement is laying the foundations for a future Russia where the current regime plays no role. This future Russia will have a whole generation of leaders who believe in real democracy and human rights. The Open Russia movement already has a thousand members across 30 regions in Russia. The Human Rights Team. Guaranteeing human rights will be fundamental to the future Russia envisaged by the Open Russia movement. But the current regime does its best to strip Russians of their ability to maintain their own human rights. The Open Russia Human Rights Team is dedicated to defending those whose human rights are compromised by corrupt Kremlin officials, representing persecuted Russians in court and organizing demonstrations in support of human rights. The Dossier Center. Every year in Russia, vast amounts of government funds are stolen, embezzled and laundered by individuals close to Vladimir Putin. The Dossier Center tracks and records the activities of these individuals, building case files that will one day lead to criminal convictions. The Justice for Journalists Fund. In Putin's Russia, journalists are often targeted by state-sponsored thugs who attack, intimidate or even kill those willing to publicly criticize the regime. Mikhail Khodorkovsky and Leonid Nevslin set up the Justice for Journalists Fund after the tragic death of three Russian journalists in the Central African Republic. Crimes committed against journalists should never go unsolved, but too often they do. And that is why the Justice for Journalists Fund was created. The Journalism as a Profession Award. It is equally important that we support the work of real journalists in Russia. The current regime has tried to turn journalists into a mouthpiece for Kremlin propaganda. But hundreds of journalists in Russia are continuing to carry out their vital work, uncovering and reporting on the real stories happening in Russia. The Journalism as a Profession Awards take the best of these, choosing winners from hundreds of contributions every year. Open Media Press freedom is a staple of any democratic country, but at the moment, the Kremlin controls the vast majority of Russian media outlets. But this is changing fast. Open Media is a rapidly growing independent media platform, and in the last six months alone, Open Media has acquired 1.2 million subscribers, with its content being viewed over 78 million times. The platform covers everything from economics to culture, producing compact videos that tell you everything you need to know in 60 seconds. International Advocacy The Kremlin also tries to influence Western perceptions of Russia, spreading disinformation and antagonizing Western media. Our international advocacy program shows another side of Russia bringing our Western colleagues stories about the many Russians demonstrating in support of real democracy and human rights in Russia. Our online platform, Khodorkovsky.com, publishes these stories daily, whilst members of our team attend conferences and promote these messages through established Western media outlets. MBK Media MBK Media is an independent news platform that publishes stories affecting ordinary Russians. These regional reports cover cases that are typically targeted by Kremlin censorship. The state-aligned media often avoids reporting on the stories that are critical towards the Kremlin's kleptocratic regime. MBK Media consists of several projects in one. 
Open World is one of these projects that tries to paint a different picture of Russia and the rest of the world from the one that the Kremlin tries to paint. Yoshkin Krot is another project that uses satire to undermine Kremlin propaganda. The Open Russia Club. The Open Russia Club offers political experts, authors and other cultural figures a platform in the West for uncensored discussions. These interactive discussions are an excellent place for intercultural experiences for anybody who's interested in Russia. The Open University. To achieve real democracy in Russia, there needs to be a new generation of Russians who can think critically and have access to objective information. The Open University offers a semester of online lectures every year, which are available and accessible to all. The lectures provide a platform for international experts and regional specialists to equip young Russians with the skills they need to establish democracy and an active civil society in Russia. The Khodorkovsky Foundation. Mikhail Khodorkovsky has set up funds to help ordinary Russians get a world-class education. The Khodorkovsky Foundation finances the Lyceum Boarding School in Moscow, which offers places to 180 children from around 40 different regions in Russia. The Khodorkovsky Foundation also finances the Social Sciences Laboratory. The Oxford Russia Fund provides funding to 20 universities throughout Russia. The Hill Foundation provides grants for 6 to 12 Russians to study at Oxford University every year. The Foundation has already helped 110 students from Russia achieve this. I hope that I can какой-то момент вернуться в Россию и ощущать там себя свободным человеком.